What's up guys and welcome to the video. So special thanks to Hoshek Motor Mercedes-Benz dealer. It's located in Brno in Czech Republic and also here is a AMG Performance Center. What's up guys so welcome to this video. So let's check out together this Mercedes-AMG GT 4-door coupe 63S Formatic Plus. So this is the spec of this particular car. Let's take a closer look. So this is the key for the car. In the back you can see AMG Flutterbug logo and this is the new style of the Mercedes keys. In the front also AMG logo. So let's unlock the car. And welcoming a daylight LED running lights, these beautiful stripes. And this design is just magnificent with this Pan Americana grille and large intakes for the air. So I really like this design, it looks really special to me. This front bumper is very prominent and very aggressive. So these headlights are the multi-beam LED headlights, the best lights from Mercedes-Benz. And also you can see carbon fiber in the inside of these lights. Some blue stripes on the side. And inside is 84 LED writing. So this car is beautifully presented in this showroom and you can see now the tablet. And on this tablet you can select a particular car and you can hear its exhaust and uh, other, other sounds. So four door is in four engine variants. This particular car is the fastest variant, 63S. Let's take a look at rims and uh, tires. So very nice. These are the steel brakes, not the ceramic. Ceramic brakes have uh, like orange cali calipers and steel brakes have a uh, yellow calipers, central lock for wheels. This car has Michelin tires, 265-40R20. Uh, Perforated brake disc. V8 by Turbo Formatic Plus badge. And also black mirrors. Also, I shot this car in brilliant blue magno color with beige interior. So links are down below for that video. Here you can see the cameras for assistance. And also this showroom, this wall just looks insane. Also like a tire shred on the floor. So let's take a look at the back of the car. So I really like this design. Also, you have adjustable wing and four exhaust tips. You can also have aero pack with fixed rear wing, which I think looks even better. But uh, these you can have like an understated look if you pop down the wing. And also you can have like a more sporty feeling when you put the wing up. So that's a good benefit of that. 63S is the fastest car, 0 to 100 km in 3.2 seconds or 0 to 62 miles per hour. A beautiful rear LED lights, 4 exhaust tips once again, entire shred on the floor. So let's open the hood and let's take a look at the engine. So this car is the fastest four-seater production car on the legendary Nürburgring Nordschleife with 7 minutes and 25 seconds. So this car is hand-built in Falterbach. This engine is hand-built in Falterbach. You can see the name of the person which made this engine. And this car has 630 
9 horsepower 900 newton meters and can sprint from 0 to 100 kilometers or 62 miles per hour in 3.2 seconds also 470 kilowatts so this engine is 4 liter v8 by turbo engine with amg speed shift mct 9 speed sports transmission top speed 315 kilometers per red chili and black interior so uh, on the camera it looks more bright like orange but uh, yeah it's not far uh, the color a little bit da more dark in reality so uh, yeah it really just uh, looks great so you have two these two big digital displays this is fully digital cockpit also make sure you saw my matte blue AMG GT 4-door 63S review and beige interior so brilliant blue magno color so this ambient lighting this is just next level for me personally this is like the best 4-door coupe and even this is, uh, this is the fastest so the prettiest and the fastest and the best the best or nothing it's not coincidence these uh, words okay so you have uh, this instrument cluster and I'm going to show you uh, what you can adjust here so you operate this display with this touchpad on the steering wheel this is for the for all new Mercedes-Benz cars it's like this and uh, yeah with this part you control this display this media display so I'm going to show you what you can set in this car in the, on the dashboard display first so with this button I'm going to show you how you can select what you want to see there so you can select trip 
performance assistance. So let's start from the left service. So you can select messages if you have some error messages, tires, assist plus, coolant, engine oil level, consumption. Then assistance, here you have like a distronic, if it's active, distronic plus and last uh, break, attention assist. Then AMG performance, you have boost and temperatures of the oil. Also you have these temperatures. It's if exhaust is open and yeah, so if I switch down the ignition, you can see here moderate. This is G-force and boost kilowatts, newton meters. Then trip. Consumption eco display from start, from reset. Navigation. Can have information there. Radio, the self explanatory media 2, telephone 2, display, head up display. So you can adjust position so the head up display is more up or down. And then you can adjust brightness so it's more or less bright. And you can control it with this trackpad. Then display content, so you can adjust what you want to see. So design, you can change super sport, sport and classic. So personally I like sport and Super Sport is my favorite because you have nice AMG logo and I don't know, it just looks uh, the best to me. Sport is second and Classic is third. So on the right side, if, if you switch this toggle, you can select what you want to see there. So you can have AMG like track pace, but you need to start track pacing command. So I'm going to start to show you, you have warning that this is only for racetrack. So you can see, this is Hockenheim ring, you can see best lap time, total length of the ring. And uh, yeah, this is just uh, amazing. Then you can see boost, kilowatts, newton meters, how much you are using when you are driving. Then G-forces, and this is date, and you can see tire pressure, tire temperature, and temperature of uh, the engine. Also uh, consumption and other stats, and this is navigation. So pretty cool, I really like this. Alright, so let's take a look at the command display. You have a navigation there and uh, live traffic which can reroute your route based on the actual traffic. Then you have radio, media, telephone but you need to connect your phone, in-car office, connect, this is for the Mercedes Me app and Apple CarPlay and browser. And then you have vehicle settings, which is the most interesting part of this command system. So you can adjust seats, driver's seat, passenger seat, you can select, then you can activate the massage, hold relaxing back, so different kind of massages, then dynamic seat, you can turn it off. 
So this means that in the corners the seat will support your movement and it will inflate the bolsters. Yeah, every customer is probably trying this new system, so that's why the battery is drained. You can also choose the seat heating balance. So uh, what is more heated? For example, the backrest, as you can see, will be only heated or this backrest will be a little bit more heated equal or only seat surface so this is pretty cool sometimes I'm I just wanted the back so this is great you can reset climate control so you can select all these things rear temperature auxiliary heating I went in full detail in my other AMG GT four door review you can then select energizing comfort so you have a you can see nicely what it will change. Dynamic select. So you can display engine data. Vehicle data. Dynamic data. So you can see kilowatts, newton meters, boost, and on the left you can see G forces. Track pace. It says it's only for track, race track. So you can pick which race track you want. To show up in way you can actually drive on the race circuit and you can have you can see the best lap time speed average speed top speed total length of the circuit you have also no trifle here And you can have a new re new track you can like a record track then you can have a drag race so you can measure acceleration quarter mile braking so you see description what you need to do then you can have a telemetry and options track pace app driver profile head of display content acoustic feedback then we have assistance all the assists like traffic sign assist camera park assist ambient lighting so I have set this on 100% so as you can see this is really bright in 100% and you have also here the ambient lighting so pretty cool and you can change the colors also you have ambient lighting in the back so 
So you can change all these settings. You have 64 colors. And you can change them. So you can have a red leather and a red ambience. So you have 64 colors. And then you can have multicolor options. So this is like a combination of colors. Red moon is like purple with red. Here is a, like red. You have also here purple and red. Dawn blue. This is like a you can see it here, like a yellow, and uh, here is a purple or blue. Jungle green, glacier blue. This really looks nice. All right, so let's continue. Intelligent light system, deep beams, surround lighting, So a lot of options as you can see and in the system you can change display styles, input and other stuff. So we here with these hotkeys you can change for example exhaust. This is like a small display, so you can change the driving select with this button and it changes here also. And it's a really nice feeling. In some reviews I saw that some people say that this feels cheap. I don't know, it feels normal to me. You can also press on the display and it will change what you can like operate with this button. So it's really nice. So you can customize it and this is also you can press it to individual mode. And then you can adapt. And also you can turn it like this. So this interior is in red, chili and black. And I really like this, how this looks. With carbon decor. And this middle console with also small displays. Where you can press them and change settings like the suspension. This is the stabilization. Auto start stop. This is for the volume. This is for the rear spoiler. 
and exhaust. Now it says balanced or powerful, not on off. So it has a new name. And the glove box is decently large, but not super large. You can have also perfume there, so your cabin can smell can smell nice. And also this vents really nice. So the seats are like red chili and black color. It's really extravagant option in my opinion. In real life it's less vibrant than on the camera. I really like this detail, this AMG logo and of course a Falterbach logo. Let me just focus. There we go. Also you have like a small panoramic roof. Also you have like a small panoramic roof. You have some controls here for the lights uh, off when you open the door. This is for the lights. SOS button and Mercedes Me assistance. Here is for the compartment for your sunglasses. And mirror. Hello. Really everything is like a nice material. Top level. And some mechanics if you need to change oil. So this is also heated and this front panel is also heated and you can open it. It is decently large. You have a two USB ports and SD card slot and it's really it's decently large. It's not like super large but decently large. This gear selector is also like a big here not like uh, usually here. And uh, yeah, I really like it and also the MG logo is great here. So it really looks great. This is the new touchpad which also in new A class and GLE. Little hazard light button. And also these are the hotkeys for parktronic navigation, radio, media, telephone and car settings. Also here you have a controls for the AC. And this compartment, you have some sticker here from the dealer and of course you have a cup holders and USB port. So this is great. If you touch it, it will close. So yeah guys, let, let's check the back and the rear seats. So I set my seat as I would sit soft closed doors, as uh, I would sit as a driver. And just look at this, when you enter the cabin you immediately see this, hit it seats. So I want to show you the front part from the rear view, so you can have a better idea. Really magnificent interior, I really like this color, red chili. Really extravagant. And with the, red, with the black it's like the best. Alright, so this is how much room I have and I'm 186 centimeters, 6 feet 2 inches, so I have a lot of space and yeah, my leg can move. Also ambience here on our feet. Also here you can set temperature in the back. Probably you need to turn the ignition. Really nice vents, so you can adjust it. And you have a storage 
space here. So here would be like a TV, but it's not on this model. So really great rear seats. Really love this. Also you can put this down and have it like an armrest. Here is also the storage space. It really looks like next level car. Right, so welcome in the rear seats. And above head I have like this much space so like seven centimeters so this is enough space for me and if i lean forward like some people do i have even more space so this is great for a headroom and yeah really looks great with this ambient lighting really a beautiful interior Really love it. Fantastic interior and fantastic rear seats. And I think everybody will be satisfied here. And also red seat belts. How nice is this? Also you have red seat belts here in the rear. And what I like about Mercedes seats, uh, seat belts, is that if you buckle up, it's not like uh, it's not like harsh feeling like in other cars, it's like uh, you almost don't feel that you have a, a buckle. So what I like about the seat belts in Mercedes in general and also in this car is that this is really like a soft on your body. It's not like a harsh uh, seat, belt, seat belt like in some other cars. It's really really like soft on your body so it's comfortable to wear seat belt also in the in the drivers and in the passenger seat so it's really like uh, in some cars it's like oh i need to put a seat belt but in mercedes it's really like uh, this is like a detail a detail why you have a premium car all right so let's check out the soft glove mechanism and also the boot space so if i close the doors softly then the soft claw mechanism will handle the rest also i tried it like this and it will close also so that's fantastic so this is the boot and you can open it with your key so let's take a look So this is how looks the boot and it has 456 liters. It's not the biggest but it's very wide and it has good entry. Burmaster sound speaker. And it's decently large. I think you can fit many suitcases there. It has very nice shape. So this is the boot. Plenty of space. And you can close the boot also with the key. Alright guys, so that's all for this video. If you like this video, give this video a like. If you have any more questions, leave them in the comment section down below. And of course, subscribe to my channel for future videos. If you enjoy this content and you feel like subscribing. And I'm very thankful for that. So guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.